Hi, I'm Dr. Shruti Tannen. I'm a plastic surgeon. Hi, I'm Christy Fischi, and I'm a registered nurse injector. Um, today, I wanted to ask you to explain something I think you have a really neat approach to, which is, you know, how and why should people plan out their cosmetic treatments? Why is that important? So we learned as new patients came in and we addressed their concerns and asked them what their priorities are, that when we gave them the options for treatment, that it was overwhelming. It was too much information and they couldn't retain it all. So they would go home and be kind of frustrated because they didn't have in hand what they needed and what we suggested and how it was gonna affect their social life, their work life. And we need to plan for a budget around our social events, work and so forth. So we compiled a sheet and we go over the sheet and there's certain orders that we need to do these things in because you don't wanna really do Botox before, right before your wedding. You don't want to do Morpheus um, before you do fillers because you can dissolve some of the fillers. So we wanted to make sure that we weren't in, in essence, wasting people's money by doing one treatment and then undoing, undoing the it treatment. with another. That makes sense. And I think what I like about it is it's not like, you know, Botox is just putting on makeup. I mean, this is an investment. How can I make that cosmetic treatment last and stand right. the test? Protect of your investment. Exactly. And it's very important, especially after surgical procedures like facelifts and so forth, you want to protect what you've already gained by having surgery. And so there's right. modalities that we can impl implement going forward that can protect what you've already invested. And I love that you do that because it helps, it only enhances the result. You know, it just, allows people to glow both from the inside with the deeper work that I do in surgery and then you're able to work on the skin which I truly can't attack from a surgical perspective. And that's kind of like a long range goal too. That's an ongoing process that we need to continue to do because we are continuing to age even after we've reset the clock with surgery. Right. I like how you helped me with my care treatment plan when I was trying to plan whether or not I wanted a chemical peel or Morpheus and what we figured out was you know I like to be outside in the summer. I love to be outside with my kids, swimming at the pool, um, just soak in all that sun. And we can't do those treatments mm -hmm. in the summer. And so I had to kind of reset, reshift my expectations and start my hydroquinone since I have pigment, um, like you recommended, and do it at a time when I wasn't going to be out in the sun. So kind of looking ahead, I loved that plan that you made for me. Well, and that's what we try to do is take the whole person in, in account because if you're going to be outside in the summer and you're a summer person, you can only do certain things in the summer. If you have weddings or other events coming up, you want to plan far enough in advance that you're well recovered um, before you have those events. And so that's why we try to encompass your whole life in the plan of your aesthetics.